Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Email World. This week is the start of December. Holidays are coming. Email World Weekly. This week we're talking about Inbox Zero, Marriott Hotel Data Breach, um, Word of the Week, Industry Buyer Guide, Industry Latest Updates and Delivering France. Last week you probably received loads of emails. So you're probably a little bit like Matt Bird who has over 8,000 unread emails in your inbox. Now that's not all from Black Friday and Cyber Monday. By all accounts that's 2017 onwards. Thanks Matt, you've inspired me for the next article that I found on medium.com. It's about Inbox Zero. You're not alone Matt. You're not alone. By Madison Malone Kircher, and it's her little story of how she got to zero inbox. So this could help you, Matt, and loads of other people. Key takeaways from that is emails that are really old, just delete them. Probably archive just in case there's something really important. You can always dig it out if needs be. First tactic mentioned is the Ohio me method. Only handle it once. When you open the email, react and deal with it then. Clearing it up, Matt, you're going to hit the unsubscribe button quite a few times, I can imagine. And otherwise, you're going to get them emails back into the inbox, those that you don't want. Security in email. More news in the week. Marriott revealed there's a data breach of 500 million Starwood guests. That's nuts. By all accounts, um, a hacker got into their guest reservation system and they basically exposed 500 million guests. That could include things like passport numbers, credit card numbers, email addresses. They'll probably get a massive fine. Now they've put some advice out there. They've opened they've opened a website. If you think that you're, you've been affected by this, you can actually go click on their international website link. You can read all about it on their particular page that they set up. It gives you there some instructions of what to do and how to tackle that. Um, the good thing here is they've actually put you into a free web watcher enrollment so you can check when your personal information is shared online, you'll receive notifications. Marriott's to one side, here's a website, haveibeenporn.com. You paste your email address into the site, it does a lookup on all known data breaches and it basically tells you, gives you a number. If you put in your email address and you've got over 50, now's probably time to change your email address or if not, look at seeing how you can protect yourself with filters, etc. This week, out of all the emails we got, there is no subject line of the week, but there's a word of the week in a subject line. The subject line, the top word in the subject line of the week is top. Top is tops. Email Insider, they did a research and they could see that top and deal were amongst the highest words ratings in subject lines there. Top of the pops. Top of the morning to you. How can I top that? On top of that, they also saw that personalised lines had a 20% higher open rate. On Wednesday, the Relevancy Group brought out a buyer's guide for email agencies. Some pretty good information there. If you're looking to change email agencies and you've got an hour to spare, I recommend watching it. A couple of key takeaways for me was the fact that 14% of those surveyed, in fact, they weren't looking at plans to implement deliverability services. So the goal there is next year, when this is brought out, us as a community, bring that down from 14% to 10%. Because the next challenge, the, key, the top challenge face, was the following. Email deliverability, getting messages to the inbox, that was up there as well with the, in the top 10 challenges. Talking about deliverability and challenges, Thursday I watched a webinar by deliverability expert Anne Claire Fickton and also the I, on the ISP side of things, Alain Dustelli. If you're sending email campaigns to France, I recommend that you watch this or have someone in your team watch it. Here's what you've all been waiting for. The poll that was put out on Twitter, are you a fan of panel data in email? A massive five people voted. Three were fans of panel data and two were against. That's not a very reflective result if I'm honest. So the next poll I want to I get out, I want to get at least 10 people's view, views on that. Have a look at this article by Content Studio. It's the 70 email marketer influences to follow in 2019. Really good list and massively complete of all sorts of people from all, all different sides of the industry. I think you should have a look look at their work, follow them, you'll be up to date with most things and you can see what new content they're putting out. The goal here is in, 20, in, two, in 2020 I'll make the top 100 list. Thanks for watching this week's Email World Weekly. Have a good week next week, let's hit the ground running. <laughs>